Hey there, greetings. I am Marina Orms here with you for this Astro Vibe on Thursday, December 15th. The moon is in Virgo today. And uh, so we're talking about how to make the best improvements on a Virgo moon. Virgo is all about improving what is and making things better and getting things right and noticing what is not perfect so that we can make it more perfect. And uh, Virgo, uh, we talked yesterday, I talked yesterday about the humility of Virgo and why that humility is so important to uh, a creative process and to creating uh, outcomes, results, projects that are truly beautiful and ascended and how that Virgo sense of humility helps us uh, to uh, create things that are um, even better than, uh, than we could before or better than we could imagine. So, um, so we still have this Virgo moon energy and Virgo is absolutely about improvement and often improvement means getting rid of what is not working. Um, so let's bring that to a really day, day to day tangible example and think about Cleaning. <laughs> cleaning. What is the purpose of cleaning? It is to remove dirt. Uh, what is dirt? It is something that is in the way. It is something that is muddying things up or um, making them imperfect. And so cleaning is a great Virgo activity because it allows us to make things more beautiful, make things better, clear and open space because when we have open space we can be more creative right when think about think about it when you feel like when you really need a shower and you just feel dirty and yucky like you don't feel creative you don't feel inspired you just feel like you need a shower <laughs> or or if your floor is dirty right there's there's a uh, dirt and dust and cobwebs um, on your carpet, on your walls. And um, what does it feel like to clear those away, to remove that, to create clearness, cleanness, cleanliness? It makes a blank slate. It makes the air cleaner that you can breathe. It, um, it brings in that sense of spaciousness it allows you to take a deep breath. It allows you to relax, de-stress, feel more open, feel more free, all these things that we think we want as human beings. And so let's get out of that idea of cleaning as being drudgery, as being something that, uh, you know, should only be done as the lowliest and most menial of tasks. Cleaning is sacred. It is sacred work. It is work that we do to support ourselves. It is work that we do to uh, create the foundations of creativity, of joy, of freedom, of self-expression, of all these things that we want for ourselves and we want to tap into. And so, um, so how many times I mean, I know I do this, put off cleaning because it's not as important as other things that I'm doing. And um, and really, if we prioritize uh, cleaning and uh, making our space beautiful, making our space clear and open and clean and the air around us so that we can breathe it and it's fresh and it's beautiful, um, that that supports us to feel like we have the ability to do things, um, be more creative, express ourselves, solve problems, think of new ideas, uh, make better connections, feel good about our space, about our bodies, about um, the the environment around us. So, uh, you know, weeding in your garden is the same idea, right? You're making room for those plants to grow. How beautiful and sacred and amazing is that? So um, it is love. It is an act of love to clean, to clear, to improve to fix, to repair, to maintain, 
These are acts of uh, sacred magic, uh, deep support for yourself. And uh, so I'm uh, not saying ditch everything else and spend your life cleaning because that's not what it's about. It's one part of the whole. But when we can attend to this, especially when that moon is in Virgo, reminding us how we can better support ourselves, um, this, this is the time to attend to that. So you don't have to be perfect. I'm going to tell you that right now. It is not about perfection. It is about one thing. What is one thing you can do today while the moon is in Virgo that cleans your space, that removes clutter, that makes you feel more open, spacious, free, uh, joyful, um, something that supports you and your process and uh, puts love into your environment and into helping and supporting things to grow, including yourself. If you're that little plant in the garden, what do you need to grow and who's going to um, help you to clear those weeds away and how can you do that for yourself? So there uh, is a really good way to think about Virgo. Virgo is, again, it's about uh, routine. It's about maintenance. It's about things that we do day to day, rolling up our sleeves, chopping wood, carrying water. It is about hands on. Um, it's about cooking. It is about cleaning. It is about maintenance and repair. All these unglamorous things that um, are actually really important to the healthy and happy functioning of our lives and our systems that keep us going. So uh, Virgo is really super important. And um, the best way to make those improvements is to give them some love and attention. So what is it you're putting your love and attention into today that you care about that you are making better? One thing, that's all it needs to be, one thing. And uh, if you get inspired from there, that's great, but no requirement that you do uh, anything more than uh, giving yourself that love, even in one decision that you make or one choice about how you spend your time. Awesome. And even if you can't, if you don't have the time to do it, don't even worry about it because so much of it is about the attitude that you put into what you are doing. And so uh, if you don't have time to clean, what are you doing? What are you working on? Can you put love and care into that? Can you give it your, your attention and your focus the way that you would um, provide that loving care to a plant so that it can grow and giving that attention to the things you're working on so that they can grow and flourish and become beautiful and continue to uh, unfold in their, in their wonderful glory of whatever it is that you're working on. So thank you so much for being here. That is the moon in Virgo. Tonight, uh, the moon is forming its, um, its third quarter. And as I mentioned yesterday, that is a time of needing to make a decision, uh, needing to implement something, needing to steer in some way in terms of what it is you're integrating or learning about based on especially that whatever was revealed to you a week ago at the full moon. So that Gemini full moon, what was happening around that time? Uh, if you could remember back a week ago, right? Uh, what, what did you learn? What did you notice? How is that unfolding for you now? Even if you can't remember what happened a week ago, what are you noticing in terms of uh, what's coming up in your life and what decisions you need to make about how to align with your higher self, with your deeper truth, with the wisdom that is innate to you and who you are and, and what your heart needs and how your heart shines and expresses itself. And uh, so we've been talking this week about creativity and self-expression, your truth, how that needs to be shared. And so asking yourself, what, what are the ways that you are sharing your truth? How can you support that process? And what improvements can you make around uh, how that self-expression is uh, being conveyed and putting, putting that love and care and sense of um, true humility and caring about the final product into whatever you're working on. 
Thank you so much for being here. We are heading into a new moon uh, in a week from now, um, just right before, well, right after the winter solstice and before the Christmas holiday. And so we've got that Capricorn new moon coming up. If you are interested in getting a mini reading on where that Capricorn new moon falls, also a great gift idea. Uh, if you want to uh, purchase a mini reading for a friend, um, they can get insight. You can get insight into your own chart. It's just a, a taste, but it gives you um, really an idea of how powerful astrology is to, uh, to reveal some of the things about your chart and how um, the upcoming new moon shows up for you personally. It has uh, certain ways that it shows up for all of us and certain ways that it's going to be unique and individual to each person. Um, and certainly you can ask a question if you have something coming up in your life that you would like insight into. Uh, and uh, uh, in the 10 minute recorded mini reading, um, I will do my very best to try and give you some insight into that based on your chart and where this Capricorn new moon is going to land in in your chart. Check that out at astrologyheals.com. Um, you can purchase a mini reading there. You do have to book it ahead of time and see what's available on my schedule. So I recommend that you uh, book it ahead of time uh, to make sure you get on my calendar. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I appreciate you and thank you for being a subscriber. And if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button because it lets me know that you are appreciating this video's these videos and it uh, it helps you because you get uh, regular notifications about when uh, new videos are released, which they are every day to support you in the astrology of unshakable self-care. So I'm Marina Orms. I'll see you next time. Thanks for being here and bye for now.